Hey everyone, this is Pete. Welcome back to Atari ST A to Z, a series of short playthroughs of Atari ST games, some of which I grew up with and some of which are new to me. Today is one of the latter. This is Shanghai by Activision. This is a game that I was aware of back in the day but never actually played because I was thought it looked a bit boring. Um, now, obviously, I know all about what Shanghai Solitaire is, which is what this is. And so, well, let's have a go. So, I assume this works just by clicking. And then double clicking, apparently. All right. Um, so, you're going to get to see how slow I am at playing this game now. <laughs> At least there's no time limit or anything like that, I don't think. There are there are a bunch of things up at the top here. Um, yeah. So, um, I think we mentioned a little while back that the Atari ST operating system has um, a layer called GEM on it, which stands for Graphics Environment Manager. And it's basically a graphical user interface, so you never see the actual operating system of the ST. Um and a lot of developers and creators found it quite convenient to build their games on top of this system because it provided them a, a ready to use user interface that you could just start using straight away it provided functionality for mouse control uh, for drop down menus for all sorts of things like that um, we got the built in system font and so on so it was, it was very convenient in a lot of ways but it also meant that um, games designed in this way ended up looking quite similar to one another. They had to do quite a bit to distinguish themselves from one another. So in Shanghai's case, um, we've obviously got the the tile set here. The actual graphics are helping to distinguish it a bit from uh, games that are a bit more obvious about their use of gem. But th that menu bar at the top is, is very, very typical of... Um, an Atari ST game or application built on top of Gem. I have a real trouble spotting things to take on this one. I'm probably driving you mental while you're watching this, aren't I? Well, you're going to have to live with it for a little while, I'm afraid, because I do enjoy a game of Shanghai. It's quite a quite a relaxing, meditative sort of game that I've. Uh, I've grown to enjoy over the course of the past few years and various incarnations. So, those of you who read my site, Moe Gamer, will know I've got a, a very soft spot for uh, Delicious Pretty Girls Mayong Solitaire, which is a very nice implementation of uh, of this game with nice graphics, um, a funky soundtrack, and uh, girls who take their clothes off, the better you're doing. So, yeah, enjoy that. Now, peak what does that do does that give us a hint no it does not show all moves oh okay all right oh i get it right yeah that makes more sense so the numbers on the tiles are i believe the height of the tiles this is why i was having trouble spotting possible moves because it's not um stacking them in 3d as it does in a lot of uh, modern adaptations of shanghai and so you have to work it out through is it the numbers or i think it's the colored outlines actually if you look at the the tiles these ones here have got red outlines then we've got a layer of yellow ones here. And there's some green ones. And then the ones on the bottom layer are black. So you have to use those uh, those colour outlines to figure out which ones you're able to take. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. I'm not sure what the letters and numbers are offhand. I thought that was like the um what layer they were on, but it doesn't that doesn't seem to be the case. But that's okay. And now we've figured out how to actually play. And how to pass the information we have available to us, which is always, always helpful. Let's see if we can solve this. He says. 
<laughs> um, oh, those two. That will work. Uh, where's Orc? What does that do? Can we get that one out there? Not a match. Okay, so I guess... Okay, so you click on it again to unselect it. Um, well. Well then. Oh, this this is actually quite difficult to see possible moves on. I'm sure it's something you can get used to over time now. So it's something you can sort of train your train yourself to be able to pass and it's it's just the fact that I'm so used to um, seeing the sort of quasi 3D layout we get in um, in Shanghai Solitaire games today green above or below? green is below yellow isn't it? oh dear uh, oh right there we go those two yes very good that one and that one. There we go. Now we're cooking. Or are we? That one and that one. Yes. Yeah. As I as I recall, when um when they brought this out, they were sort of very much trying to play up the sort of quiet meditative aspect of this and uh, yeah you'll notice the whole thing is unfolding in complete silence there is a beep option <laughs> um, but uh, you know I haven't heard any yet I assume it beeps for a specific reason at some point we'll probably find out maybe right come on where are you Strike me inspiration. You're not doing it. Um, no, that won't work, will it? Right, can we match any on this top layer? Yes, we can. Marvellous. Can we match this one? No, because that's all the way down there. So I'll have to leave that one for now. Oh, these are seasons, aren't they? Yeah, so spring and autumn. Can we match those together? Oh, no, because there'll be a piece under that one there. Duh. Uh, that one there. Oh, got to unselect it first. That one there. Can go with that one there. Very nice. This is riveting YouTube. I'm sure you'll agree. But, you know, I've started, so I'm going to finish. Eventually. Maybe. Probably. Oh, God. Right. Um, have we got a crossy, crossy one? Crossy, crossy one? I want a crossy, crossy one. No, evidently not. Okay, one of these. All right, so the numbers do correspond to the... They're the numbers of the different suits, I think. So that's that's one way of helping you to spot them. Uh, so we know that this one is a seven of whatever that is. Bamboo, I think, or something. Um, so we need to match that with another seven. And the seven is, is just something that will help us to, to spot that. Um, but that's not really helping right now. Um, so we got a six there. No, that's no help, is it? Aha, uh -huh. those will work. Another one of them, but there's another none of those visible at the minute. So that's going to have to wait. Uh, we can take that one. Yep. Good. Five of bamboo. I'm going to call it bamboo. 
even if it isn't i'm sure someone will correct me down in the comments if it isn't bamboo but i choose to believe it's bamboo i know one of the suits in this is bamboo and that is the one that looks most like bamboo so i'm gonna roll with it i can't yes i can it's down there um that's six no because there's one up there there's one down there and one there so we can't get at any of those yet so that's no good uh six of bamboo can't reach that because this stack's in the way winter can we match winter with spring no so we have to match winter with winter i guess um oh we got it oh no that's on the bottom forget that nine of bamboo Are there a nine of bamboo anywhere i don't see one no god this is this is hard <laughs> And I'm not sure it's hard for the right reasons. I know that 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 is just making excuses. I know it's um the only reason I'm struggling here is is just just as I've said because I'm so used to the way this sort of game is presented in a more modern way. I'm just looking for pieces of visual information i can pass in a certain way and and not getting that information so not receiving that information in the same way i should say there we go there's one so i can go there and that lets us get that seven out i saw another nine like that yeah there it is yeah we roll in and you can go there you two can pop out like that we're making an impact slowly slowly but surely a three there that's the only downside of the gem menus it's not like windows menus where you have to click on them to uh, to make them appear uh in a in the case of gem you just move your mouse up there and the menu opens and you have to click to close it it's uh, a little inconvenient if you're used to other ways of doing things. But again, you can adjust to it. Just need a little bit of patience, a little bit of zen. And that's what this game's all about, really. So we're down to 94 tiles. Going nicely. Let's have that one and that one. Yep that one and that one um i don't know what any of these tiles are called so i end up just thinking of them in my head according to what i think they look like so like this one this one's the little man this one's squiggly wiggly this one's high heels I could use the numbers, but where's the fun in that? Right, um, we've got a, one of them. Is there another one of them anywhere? I don't see one. Do we have a crossy crossy? No. This is not going well. At least you don't seem to be timed, as I said. As, uh, I know the delicious pretty girls Mayong Solitaire that I mentioned earlier that is uh, very much timed it's very much arcade um, Shanghai and so you have to be as quick as possible especially if you want to see the girl in her underwear which I'm sure you do because why wouldn't you um Got a two there. We got another two somewhere. Yes, but it's there. That's no good. I'm slowly, slowly, very slowly, 
starting to get a feel for understanding this screen getting a feel for passing this information that it's giving me it is a bit of an adjustment yes and yes I would still rather have 3d stacks but uh, it's workable we can work with this right we got a six somewhere yes but it's down there that's no good got a six of them but we can't get at that one what can we match these with because it looks like we've oh you can match the seasons together I just can't do that one because it's um, in a stack okay right well that makes very little difference <laughs> so we've got squiggly man there do we have another squiggly man no no we do not we got these though that's nice green squiggle no eight blobs no Oh, I'm losing it again. Four of things. No, that's down there. Why is this so hard? Right. Focus. Focus. You can do this. You can totally do this. You can absolutely positively definitely do this seven anywhere no that's a different seven that's that seven I want that seven there's a stupid lime in the way I can't see any moves I can do I'm sure there is one. I'm going to cheat. Okay. Yes, I should have seen that one, shouldn't I? Um, right. So, two of things. Stabby dagger. Uh, um, two of twos. four of things no no I hope it tells you when there's no moves left because otherwise we could be here a little while nine of stuff no that's there aha we can get it that though there we go yes I am the Shanghai master Look at the speed at which I solve this puzzle. Seven of stuff. No, seven, seven of stuff is there. Oh my. Stop it, go away. Two of things, I'm sure there was, no, oh, no, it's down there. Why is everything in a really inconvenient position. Well, there's a there's a squiggly man though. If we can dig in there somehow, it's a big ask though. Can't get a three out. Cheat. Yeah. Okay. That'll do. Um, can get rid of that four now. That's good. So it wasn't 
really helped all that much because there's still a lot of places where we're blocked in Just need to reduce down some of these stacks go on in no more moves well that was worth it wasn't it there we go so this is Shanghai by Activision. Let's just have a quick look at what the uh, the other options are. So we've got the option to load, uh, which I believe, yeah, has a series of um, alternative level layouts that you can start with. I think that's just the same one, isn't it? What about this one? Okay, I think they might all be the same layout, but the, the arrangement of tiles might be different from the look of things. I guess that's how it works. Starter. Yeah, so those, those are all using the same layout of... Uh, the same basic layout, but a specific setup of tiles. Uh, and what do these do? So you can play in a team in which you cooperate. Not heard of that before. Tournament mode. Yeah, okay. So in tournament mode, that's when you um that's when you play against the clock. And then challenge mode. Two players compete to see who can find the most moves during a game. A point is scored by making a move within the selected time limit. Okay, so that's like a rapid fire um two player mode. And that's when the beeps come in as well. Okay, so that's actually a, a fair amount to this game. Uh, there were several different Shanghai releases over the years, uh, as far as I'm aware. And later ones did include things like different tile layouts and um, even a sort of layout constructor so you could create your own patterns and layouts. Uh, this one, obviously, very basic, very straightforward, but it does the job. And once you can get your, your head around the, the way it's presenting the information to you, yeah, I can see that being quite addictive. So this was um, published in 1986 by Activision, uh, written by Brody Lockhart, and apparently pirated by Racing Cracker. So, good for him. Well done. Or her. Probably him, though. Let's face it. Okay, anyway, that was Shanghai by Activision. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please help out the channel by leaving a like or a comment and subscribing. New episodes of Atari A to Z are on Tuesdays and Atari ST A to Z on Thursdays. Check out Atari A to Z .wordpress.com for a full archive. Do please also check out my other projects, MoeGamer.net, where I explore Japanese and Japanese inspired games from yesterday and today, and VideoPackGames.wordpress.com, which aims to catalogue the small but well formed library of the Philips G7000 Video Pack Computer, also known as the Magnavox Odyssey 2. You can also support my work on Patreon or buy me a coffee. You can find links to do both down in the video description. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.